Hello everybody, today's class is on how many eggs do you need? So let's let's look at this. How many eggs do you need? Or I'm sorry, do we need any eggs? I had it too small. Alright, do we need any eggs? Is the subject for a day. So let's look at this chart here. Let me reduce it just a little bit. So we have our different food groups. So we, we always refer to these as food groups. And in these food groups, we have our, let me mark up my marker here. We have our fruits. Fruit. It should, it should be fruits. Fruit food group. I don't know. Vegetables. So we found a mistake in the book. Vegetables. So we say vegetables. It, now, vegetables, vegetables. So it looks like the spelling's different, and this is a word that we pronounce pronounce differently. And I used to think that it was by bad habit that we said it as such, but I found found in an English book that it said we pronounce this as vegetables and not vegetables. Some people do say vegetables, but it's actually correct to say vegetables, vegetables, grains. Fats and oils, dairy, and meat and other proteins. Meat and other proteins. So, in fruits, we have things like apples, blueberries, oranges, right here, lemons, bananas, kiwis, onions, tomatoes and potatoes. So here we have rice, pasta, crackers, bread, cereal, and noodles. So Kind of noodles and pasta sometimes are the same thing. I mean, it's, it's technically the same thing. So butter, cream, and oil. So cream is kind of the fat of the milk, but cream could also be over here in the dairy area as well. Cheese, milk, and yogurt. So these are some dairy items. And then in the meats, we have beef, fish nuts are also had categorized as proteins beans eggs i already said fish chicken of course anything any kind of animal is going to be meat so th these are our food groups now i like rice noodles oranges i don't like fish cheese and carrots and actually, I think it might be more the opposite for me. I like fish, I like cheese, and I like carrots. I don't like rice too much. I'm not a big fan of noodles. I like oranges, okay. I prefer pears. So here are some things that you can practice with each of these food, food groups. The more you practice, the better you get. So I like noodles and oranges i don't like fish cheese and carrots so i could say i like bread and butter but i don't like i don't know maybe broccoli and potatoes so let's play a little bit of an audio here Page 59, Exercise 2, Conversation. How about some sandwiches? Listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any lettuce? Let's see. No, we need some. Let's get some tomatoes, too. Okay, and let's buy some potato salad. All right, everyone likes potato salad. All 
Okay, so that was our audio for the day. So an egg, eggs. So count count nouns, an egg, eggs. A sandwich, sandwiches. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. So let's, let's look at how this works. A lot of people make mistakes with this. If, we, if we're talking about this in singular, um, if you were going to ask for one egg, do we need an egg? One egg? No, we don't need a, an egg. Do we need a sandwich? No, we don't need a sandwich. But when, you're, when we're talking about it in plural, do we need any eggs? We leave out the article. Let Yes, let's get some eggs. So in, as a matter of fact, these words are replacing the article. So we don't need, we need some eggs. So this is, this is kind of putting it in the plural form. Do we need, we don't need any eggs. Bread lettuce. Do we need any bread? Yes. Let's get some bread. These are non-count nouns because I cannot um, count bread. But I can count loaves of bread. Do we need a loaf of bread? Because I cannot say, do we need a bread? That would be wrong, incorrect. I could say, do we need any bread? Because bread is measured in the volume. So a loaf is measured as individual, a loaf of bread. Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. So non-count. Count and non-count. So this is an activity that you can do in your book. I don't do the activities because I let so that you can do the activity in your book and learn. So do we need any eggs? Yes. We need some egg. We need some eggs. Do we need any lettuce? No, we don't need any lettuce. So we emph we sometimes emphasize, especially important words like "don't" because we want to make sure that someone understands it is a negative. And so we have a so make a shopping list, and on the shopping list. We want to check off the items we need. So, so we got our oranges, and I believe these are oranges right here. So, we need some tomatoes, and these are tomatoes here. Celery. So, we got our celery here. Potatoes. Get our potatoes here. Onions. I would say that these are probably the onions here and broccoli so get a broccoli here and kiwi so definitely that's kiwi there and apples so we got our apples here so what was not on the list bananas and i would say that that is probably lettuce and lemons lemons were not on the list all right so So this is a practice exercise here. So I would leave this for someone to listen and practice on, on your own. So let's listen to a conversation. Page 61, exercise six, conversation. Fish for breakfast? Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well, 
I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay. Anybody here ever had fish for breakfast? I may have once or twice, but especially when I was camping. So adverbs frequently, frequently used here. So let's look at these. So always, usual, all right, so I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. So I usually eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. And I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. So you could also say sometimes I eat breakfast. But the others, you have to have I in front of it. So, do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. So, always 100%. So, we have the scale here 100%, never 0%. So often is about like maybe 50%. Of course, it depends on the subject. Sometimes 20% of the time could be often. Like if I, if I, for example, if I skydive 20% of the time, that would be often. Or if, if I go to New York once a week, that would be often. And that's about, that's less than 20%. So hardly ever almost never, and usually. So it's gonna be relative, so you don't have to think this out too much. I think mean, this is something that so, sometimes people overthink, just speak it, and if you make a mistake, oh well. And putting the adverbs in the correct places. This is a practice you can do. So what do you have for breakfast? And then, putting usually, what do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? So these are some exercises you can do. And again, I have breakfast on Never Weekend. So put these in the correct order and that would be a good practice exercise for you to do. And you can, you can stop the video here and put the, keep the video in place and then do these exercises. And this is another exercise that you can do. And I'm going to play the video and you can do the exercise afterwards. Page 62, exercise 8, listening. Really? Never? Part A. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. So what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. This is the exercise, see if you can figure it out and do the, um, check the correct answers. 
So now we're going to get to our video for the day. Hi, I'm Jamal Green, and I'm standing in front of Sonny's Diner. Sonny's Diner is 80 years old, and it's still a very popular neighborhood restaurant. What are people eating? Let's go inside and see. And I'll have two eggs, some toast with butter, and some orange juice, please. Do you want any jam with your toast? No, thanks. Hi, I see you're having some coffee too. Yes, I am. Do you always have coffee with your meal? <laughs> yes, I do. I study late at night and I'm sleepy in the morning. Now today is Sunday and there is a special brunch menu. Do you ever have breakfast here on weekdays? No, on weekdays I eat breakfast at home. What about lunch? I usually have lunch at school with my friends. Okay. Well, enjoy your meal. Thanks. Eggs, toast, orange juice, and more. Sunny serves a lot of foods that are good for you. And what are you eating? I'm having some yogurt, some granola, and a fruit salad. Now that's a healthy meal. Yeah, I usually eat well, and I never eat sweet snacks. Never? Well, sometimes I have chocolate. Chocolate. I love chocolate. And you're having coffee, I see. No, it's tea. Black tea, no sugar. Do you come to Sunny's often? No, this is my first time. I'm from Canada, actually. I'm a tourist. Welcome to our city. Enjoy your stay. And what are you having? Hmm, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, you know there's a special to me. Steak and eggs. Well, I know, but I don't eat meat. I usually eat vegetables. Vegetables are good for you, right, Richie? Yeah, but I don't like broccoli. But do you like corn? Yeah, it's okay. And who is this? This is my son, Richie. Hi, Richie. Do you like Sonny's Diner? Yeah, it's great. And what do you have? Pancakes with extra syrup. And to drink? Large orange juice. Yeah, I think I know what I'll have now. A green salad with lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. And what do you usually drink? Just a glass of water. Great food, great prices. Everybody loves brunch at Sunny's Diner. I'm Jamal Green, and we hope to see you here next Sunday. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the class and enjoyed the video. So if you have any questions, make sure you fill it out below and take care. Visit our website, el4e.com. Look around, browse, feel free to browse around. If you want to ask a question, click contact. Email, telephone number, Facebook, WhatsApp, Telegram. Thank you.